This is Stephanie from statisticshowto.com. In this video, I'll show you an example of the Yates correction. The Yates correction is usually recommended if you have a 2x2 two two contingency table and you're using either the McNamara's chi-square or the Pearson's chi-square test. The recommendation is you use the Yates correction if your expected cell frequencies are either 10 or below. Some authors say 5 or below. Other authors say you shouldn't use it at all. I'm not going to go into the arguments, but if you're interested in reading more about whether you should or you shouldn't use it, then follow the link showing on screen and it will take you to a, an article outlining that. Here's the formula for the Yates correction. It's basically the chi-square formula with the addition of this negative 0.5. So let's say I had a 2x2 two two contingency table and I've calculated my observed and expected values for each cell. To use the Yates correction, you pretty much just plug in the values. I'm going to leave this summation out until the end. So I'm going to work this part of the formula. So I've got my observed minus the expected, and that's the absolute value. So for cell 1, absolute value, 220 minus 210, 22. I'm going to subtract 0 0.5, and this is all squared. And this is divided by the expected, which is 210.22. And if I figure this out on a calculator, I get 0 0.41. That was cell 1. I'm going to work through the formula for cells 2, 3, and 4. Just plugging in the numbers. The final step is this summation, so I'm going to add all of these numbers up, and when I do that I get 8.81. So this is the figure from my Yates correction. Now bear in mind that some researchers will recommend you don't use this at all, but it can come in handy, especially if you have a low expected cell frequency below 5. If you're using a lot of statistical programs like R, then it will include this automatically, so it's a good idea to know that it exists. Check us out at statisticshowto.com for more videos and articles and everything elementary statistics.